Hi everyone and welcome back. Um, I know I had promised another video in the week and I was just not able to get to it, um, but I am here today and we are going to be doing the reading for Divine Soulmate Connections or Twin Flame Connections where there is a third party or a karmic partner or situation involved. All right, I will be doing the reading as if that is on the masculine side. However, that of course does not mean that the feminines are not also dealing with either third parties or karmic situations, okay? This is just what most people <laughs> ask for in these readings, so this is why I'm doing this, okay? But because energies um, are fluid and because we all have both masculine and feminine energies, some of the energies that come through for the masculines may also apply to the feminines, okay? So do keep that in mind. Um, what else? If anybody is interested in a cord cutting session with me, you can check out the post that I made in my community page a little while back, or you can email me for more information. And I also do offer aura clearings, which also include um, the clearing of any negative energy that is aimed towards you, okay? So that, I don't have a community post about that, but you can email me and I will give you more details. All right, I think that is it. Um, thank you to everybody who has donated lately. It really means a lot to me. Thank you for all the personal readings um, and your comments, of course. Just everybody's support, all right? That's what helps to keep me um, making these videos. So I think that is it. Let's get into the reading. Um, just keep in mind that it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. And if you'd like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. Okay, so let's see. Let's take a look at what is going on with the masculines. Just get a few oracle cards. And we'll get into the tarot right after. <clears throat> All right, so for the masculines, what is going on currently? Okay, we have a woman holding a coin. I do get that this represents the um, karmic partner. Again, if, if your masculine is in a karmic situation, like an addiction or a workaholic or um, whatever the case, um, just take the messages as they might apply for your situation, okay? So, yeah, let's see, what else? Acceptance. And let me just get a couple more from this deck. What is it that they are accepting here? There's something here about this situation that they are in that they are accepting. Let's see. Ooh, okay. <clears throat> Return, Dark Knight of the Soul, and Refocus. And I'm actually not surprised to see this, <clears throat> especially because we just um, had Mercury go direct, which is good because that means that, you know, we have been reflecting we have been standing still just reflecting on past behaviors on those consequences and i think it was in a very recent reading where i was saying that the masculines were actually living and experiencing the consequences of their actions um, <clears throat> and now it's time to actually move out of that phase and that's what i see happening here also in a very recent um reading we had seen that for a lot of them the masculines had it's like they had gone back either they had gone back um, to a karmic situation or they had stopped making progress, at least on the surface, okay? Um, and what I'm getting here is that there's this acceptance that that return, that having gone back, even if they were never really away from the karmic, but just even if it's just in their minds, right? Like energetically, um, so maybe it was just that for some of them, they were just thinking and planning an exit and then stopped and just kind of sank into the situation. Okay. That's what I mean by going back. And of course, for others of you, it could be, you know, something slightly different, like more literal. So there was a return, but that return led to a dark night of the soul. And that's what's happening now, right? Realizing that that return... Um, was not in their favor 
and things did not work out in the way that they had thought. So that's what they are accepting, that this person that they are with or the situation that they are in, it's only on the surface, it's superficial. It's just in the material world, but there is no spiritual connection. So following that, we have refocus, right? Following that dark night of the soul. So I feel like this is where they're at right now, kind of like in between this dark night of the soul and moving towards refocusing and again, beginning to move away from this situation, whatever it is. Kind of like for some of them, if they needed like um, another another shot or another, um, I don't know, piece of evidence that this is not for them, like they got that, right? That's what they were accepting, that that's all that this is. So, interesting. All right, let's get into the tarot. So we're going to start by looking at the masculine's energy towards this person, this particular connection, meaning not the divine feminine, but the other one whether you want to call it a karmic, a third party, a situation that is serving as a block, whatever. And of course, it doesn't have to be a romantic partner. If it's a person, it can be a relative, a friend, a coworker, <clears throat> society, a group of people, it doesn't matter. So let's see. What is their general energy right now? All right, we have the Two of Wands, the Page of Swords in Reverse, and the Two of Swords in Reverse. Ooh, okay. So there's a lot of thinking. Yeah, they are still there, okay? I do still see a little bit of stagnancy here with the Two of Wands, um, but there's a lot of thinking behind that, um, possibly even planning. So it's like they're back to that, back back to the planning. Um, definitely not interested in staying there even though they they still are okay and that's because with the two of swords being in reverse number one they want to come out of this okay that's what i'm seeing here they want to come out of that stagnation and not only that it, it's like a dead end and they're feeling that this is a dead end um i do kind of feel like they're keeping this to themselves for now like they're not being very vocal about it to to the karmic um partner here so let's see let's get a little bit more So what's going on in their headspace? All right, the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Cups in reverse, and the Nine of Swords. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, in their headspace, this is so done. This situation is so done. Um, but it's creating a lot of stress. The fact that it's done, it's creating stress. Um, because it's like they're finding themselves stuck in this situation that they've accepted is just what it is, right? That it's just on the surface, that they're living a dark night of the soul, um, so to speak, in this situation. And that the happiness is not real. It's superficial. I feel like they went through this phase where they were just convincing themselves that everything is fine, everything is okay, you know, there's this um, sense of peace having um, reverted back because then they weren't in that dilemma anymore. So not being in the dilemma created a sense of peace. Um, that's the message I'm hearing. But that wore off. <laughs> that wore off led to that dark night of the soul, which again, I'm figuratively using that that phrase because if I don't know if you if you really get into it like the dark night of the soul is something really really specific um, but yeah so there's a lot of stress at the moment because they're realizing that 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 facade to their own self you know didn't work and so they're feeling the pain of that okay so let's see what's going on with them emotionally or just anything else that wants to come through. Because I think even emotionally it's pretty clear.
Okay, five of cups in reverse, the five of swords in reverse, and the hierophant in reverse. Hmm. It's interesting because even though they're feeling this stress and they're feeling this pain, this anxiety, not knowing what to do, I'm also getting that it's like this time around, it's like something has been healed, especially concerning um, guilt or pessimism as it pertains to the loss of this connection, like to them walking away from this, right? For example, they're not feeling as guilty about that. They're not feeling as much that they would be betraying this person or, you know, the situation or whatever. Or even, you know, other people involved in this. They're not feeling that anymore. At least not as much. So that's, yeah, that's definitely a significant um, difference here from the past. Okay, and of course, you know, higher tent in reverse. Um, just not even, I, I feel like they're overcoming societal standards or even like deep-rooted beliefs, core beliefs that they had concerning what is right, what is wrong, what would cause me guilt and what would not cause me guilt. So those things are now shifting. So whereas once it used to be that, you know, betraying a connection, whatever that is, even if it's just, you know, lust, um... You know, they would, okay, just a little side note. For those of them where, you know, they might be in a connection because of either lust or because it's just an easier connection or, you know, for very superficial reasons and it's not like a deeply committed relationship, um, for a lot of these masculines, it's a form of validation or it just um, boosts their ego and just makes them feel like they can adhere to their own beliefs, right? Um, you know, maybe it's concerning sex or, you know, whatever. So in the past, these masculines would have felt like they're betraying their own self by not engaging in that kind of a relationship or connection because it would kind of kill a part of their ego, a superficial part of their ego, right? So, or a part of them, because that's what the ego is. So... That's for that group, okay? And now for others that are in more committed um, connections like marriages or, you know, serious long-term relationships, they're reconsidering those beliefs concerning whether it is right or wrong or how guilty they would feel, all right? Especially if they have families. So yeah, that's that's what I'm getting here. Um, let's actually move on. Let's move on to the masculine's energy towards their feminine. I don't know if I'm gonna clarify these or not. Um, they feel pretty clear and I don't want this to be like an hour long video. So let's see, masculine's energy towards their feminine. I mean, I, I really feel like the takeaway here for this part of the reading is um, the fact that having gone back and just allowed themselves to sink into th their situation and just kind of block out, you know, what they had been focused on, that has now led to that dark night of the soul forcing them to refocus again to moving forward, away from this, okay? And focusing on, I mean, the very first card out in their headspace is this Ten of Swords. Focus on the fact that this situation is just a dead end. It's done. It's not happy. It just causes more stress and anxiety. Okay, so masculine's energy towards their feminine. Let's see. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Swords, and the Four of Swords in reverse. Mm. Yeah, not feeling very good at the moment um, towards their feminine, that's for sure. I feel like there's this sense of, 
I also want to say pessimism, but it's mostly like feeling like, you know, it's a dead end there too. Or just not feeling motivated, feeling like there's... It's, it's kind of like a giving up energy, like, you know, not, not moving in that direction either. Yes, wanting to move away from the karmic, but I feel like at the moment they're, they're, they're very, very stressed processing this ending. And it could be that they're feeling discouraged for whatever reason towards, towards the feminine. Um, at least it, it, at the very least it feels like they're feeling like there's not much they can do at the moment. It's like a sense of not having control. All right, because I, I see that this is all in their heads. Um, there's fear surrounding this, all right? It's not based in reality. It's not that they don't want the feminine. No, it's not that at all. There's something within their own selves that they need to heal because it's creating fear concerning um, moving forward towards the feminine. And for some of you, it just might feel like the masculine, if you are in contact, it might feel like it's not very stable. Kind of like a little bit all over the place or just that there isn't like a solid plan for where things are going. Okay, again, that is because there's fear. Let's see what's going on in their headspace. Okay, cards exploded here. Let's see. We got, ooh, we got quite a bit. All right, we have the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. And then we have one more row, which is the Six of Cups, the Three of Swords. And give me one sec, because this one fell. The Queen of Swords. All right. So just give me a sec here. Um, it's a combination of both their headspace and their emotional space. Okay, so I might just um, leave it at this. Yeah, like I said, with the Knight of Swords, just like with the Knight of Pentacles being in reverse, um, they're all over the place. There's a lot of overthinking, a lot of overanalyzing, that, a lot of restlessness, all right? Um, especially concerning whether this connection with their feminine could move forward. And of course, one of the obstacles or blockages is the fact that they are still in, in the karmic situation. However, it feels like they're just like thinking of everything like all at once. And it, it's like so much that that's why it feels that way to them. Like, how am I gonna move forward? I haven't even finished this, but do I wanna move forward? And there are so many unhealed factors in this relationship, you know, um, with the feminine, or things have been rocky. I'm glad to see that Page of Pentacles, though, upright, because that tells me that there is, um, there is a little bit of exploration here for this possibility. It's just that they're all over the place. There's definitely nostalgia um, and a lot of pain when they think about the past. So yes, it looks like the masculine is officially out of that part of the phase where they had reverted to denial, trying to pretend like they're happy in their situation. All right, Six of Cups, Three of Swords. This is them thinking about the past, reminiscing. Um, for those of you that were once together, or for others of them, this could just be them fantasizing about that, right? Fantasizing about what it would be like um, to connect. And that creates a lot of pain. Um, getting with this, with this Queen of Swords, this is how they're viewing their feminine. Um, they're viewing you as possibly being a little bit more distant. And that too is creating that pain, but you know that I'm not trying to tell the feminines to not be like this Queen of Swords. No, you should be like this Queen of Swords, right? Having self-respect for your own self, being distant, 
because you have certain standards that are not being met. And yeah, you know, if that creates pain for them, well, so be it. It's okay. It's through pain that we grow and learn. As long as you're not doing it as revenge or out of spite or in order to teach them a lesson. All right? As long as you're doing it for you, you know, well, then the consequences on them is going to be whatever it is. And that's going to be a lesson for them anyway. Um, let's see. Is there anything to clarify here? You know what? I'm just going to get the rest of the cards and then if I feel like clarifying anything, I'll do that at the end. So let's get some cards for the feminines and then we'll take a look at what is coming up. Alright, so what is going on with the feminines in this situation? What do we need to know? I'm just going to take the two that fell out because that was way too many that flipped over. All right, and we have contract and happy family. I feel like you've made a decision that you want to be happy. You want to be happy regardless of what happens with this connection, okay? That's for some of you. Then there are others of you that have like conditions where you feel like you can only be happy, you know, if you if you have this connection with your masculine, all right? It's going to be one or the other for each of you, but I feel like happiness is a lot on your mind right now. Like this is something that you're thinking a lot about. And for some of you, you're just trying to figure it out. Can I be happy without my masculine? Or what would that entail? You know, there's a lot of thinking around um, happiness or possibly even family. See what else all right and we have um the number 33 flower the flower moon blossoming i feel like you're moving in that direction all right even if it doesn't feel like it at the moment you're you're blossoming you're moving towards that direction of happiness it might just feel sometimes you know that path it can be a little difficult um but you are moving in that direction i feel like you're for a lot of you you're making a lot of effort into figuring this out as to how you can find happiness with the way that your situation is right now. Okay, and we also have tribe, union, and solitude. Okay, interesting. Again, I feel like there's a lot of focus on family. Um, and what it is that you want, what it is that you don't want. And I feel like you're trying to find this balance between, okay, wanting union with your masculine, but then also figuring out how you can, you know, manage and cope with not having that as well at the, uh, at the moment at least, all right, solitude. So trying to find that balance between wanting union, but also being alone or maybe you're not alone just not with your masculine though all right there's that contrast there and you are um, whatever it is that you're if you are having these kinds of thoughts um, know that with the blossoming card you are making progress okay so let me just get a couple of tarot For the feminines, just anything that wants to come through for the feminines, any message. Okay, and we have the lovers, the king of cups, and the page of wands in reverse. Yeah, I feel like, you know, it, <laughs> it's interesting. Um, I feel like you're kind of going through something similar as the masculines, um, because for a long time, I feel like, you know, the, the feminine, you know, had really turned her back to this and was trying to move away from this, not 
all of you, but definitely um, a portion of you, all right, a substantial portion of you. And I feel like your energy is coming back to that of love for this connection, um, accepting that deep down you do want this union. For some of you, you may have never even um, gone through the phase of, you know, convincing yourself that you don't. Um, but for those of you that have, you're back to this place, but also I feel like with this page of wands being in reverse, um, it's not a typical thing I would say, but the message here is that you're not, you're not like eagerly, like just waiting for it, or you're not like actively trying to have things come to you. I feel like you're just more relaxed, more emotionally stable with the way that the situation is and with your own emotions and your own feelings for this. I do get that for a lot of you, you may have lost um, some motivation, possibly even some enthusiasm about this situation, but you're still you're still holding that space of love all right um yeah let's see let's see what is coming up so masculine's energy towards their karmic situation what is coming up in the near future so that would be the next couple of weeks or so okay and we have the six of cups the four of swords in reverse and the three of swords Ooh. Hmm. there's something here that I feel is coming up something from the past between the two of them or between the masculine and, and that situation, whatever it is, there's something from the past that is coming back up in order to be healed, something that is not healed. And it's actually going to create pain. The three of swords can even, of course, it can be about a breakup. I'm not so sure that that's exactly what this is, although for some of them, it definitely could be that. Um, but there's that restlessness I feel is continuing. They, they're restless concerning the feminine. They're also restless concerning their karmic situation. Um, they're definitely moving more and more towards feeling that pain more intensely, which is kind of sad, but um, it's in their it's in their control. Either way, right? It's their choice. Because um, I do feel like for a lot of them, they're just dragging out the process and they're choosing to. And that's okay because there's a lesson in that. And there is something here that does need to be healed. And I do feel like they are moving towards healing whatever needs to be healed in this connection with the karmic before they can actually break away from it. So it's going to be different for each of them, but whatever that is, it is definitely coming up. And it is going to be painful, um, but it's nothing that they cannot manage. It's nothing that they cannot manage. Now, that's the first message I'm getting. The second message I'm getting here is that basically it's kind of like either a repeat or a continuation of them having gone back and then feeling the pain, the dark night of the soul. Um, <laughs> and seeing this as the Six of Cups, um, them reconciling in some way and that just not being um, healthy. It's not, things do not mend, and so they're back to feeling that break again, or it just leads to more um, pain. So I do get that there is a group of them who is going back again, but this time it's going to be a lot shorter. It's gonna be very, very short. Um, Cause it's like, you know, they've done that once, they saw the consequences of that, right? Dark night of the soul and then wanting to refocus and then going back again and then it's like, same thing happens. Okay, so this time coming out of it a lot quicker. So, yeah, wow, masculines. <laughs> cycles, repeating cycles like no other, right? All right, let's see their energy towards their feminine.
All right, the world in reverse, the six of wands in reverse, and the moon completely sideways. Oh, okay. Yeah, still feeling like things are not resolved uh, with the feminine. There's something here also with the feminine that they feel is not resolved. They're just feeling unresolved all over the place. Um, I do get that the fear is still here. Some doubts, but that they are coming out of it, and that's why it was sideways, okay? Um, so it's kind of like half-half with the moon. I do feel like um, a bit of their ego is still kind of standing in the way. But ultimately, that again is a result of fear, which I do see them coming out of. Kind of like, okay, coming out of the fear of their ego being hurt. And it almost feels like they don't really have a choice kind of because they just feel like it's not like the, the connection with the with the feminine is not over with the world card um it's it's not over so and they're still feeling this pull so it's almost like they're being forced to put their ego aside so whatever that means to you of course this can play out in many different ways it doesn't necessarily mean that there's contact um, for those of you who are in no communication, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are opening up more, but I do see them taking that step of at least removing, to some extent, their ego out of the way, knowing that this is not done, and overcoming some fear. And I do, I am also getting that for those of you who are in contact, um, there might be something that is revealed to you, something that, you know, they may have been hiding or not really expressing that is going to come to the surface. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I feel like that that is it. I feel like um the feminines for the most part like you're you're doing okay. Just figuring things out, allowing yourself to love, but not necessarily being as eager or, you know, just waiting for this. Or take this as encouragement if you feel like, you know, you're kind of there but not. Okay, so let's get a couple of cards to close this out. messages all right and we have milk and honey so very positive um, the other one that was like standing out was happy happy um, so yeah this is just spirits way of saying you know everything is gonna be okay everything is where it needs to be right now okay um, do remember to find pleasure in your life at the moment because I do feel like a lot of times it's easy to forget um, but do seek out pleasure, whatever gives you enjoyment and pleasure at the moment. And let me just get, let me get one more. Final message. All right, and we have the full moon in Aries. A fiery climax approaches. Yeah. There is definitely a climax. I'm seeing this as being more so on the masculine side where there's this climax, like with these cycles and with really feeling that dark night of the soul, that pain when it comes to constantly, you know, taking a step forward and then reverting back. Um, I feel like that is what this climax is about. Like it's, it's just going to climax and then, you know, that be it. <laughs> so yeah, that is it for this time. Um, please leave me a comment. Let me know if this resonated. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Much love.